my channel, my name's Layla and this is my land. You may have seen going around YouTube at the minute the alphabet makeup challenge, which on the surface sounds absolutely the easiest thing in the world, where you basically apply your makeup products in alphabetical order instead of stage order, which kind of on the surface you think, right? What difference is that going to make? But then, oh my god, when you start listing the makeup stages in alphabetical order, you kind of think, you can't put that on at stage seven, that's just stupid. Oh, I see what the challenge is about now. Gotcha. Now, I don't know whether the outcome is supposed to be that, look, I've made a really good job of this, even by putting things on in way the wrong order, or whether it's supposed to look a complete mess because duh you've put everything on in completely the wrong order but that's really entertaining for you lovely people make sure you've got a drink make sure you've got your cozy comfies on make sure you've subscribed please come and join the family um we are a lovely bunch and can i just say thank you for all of the gorgeous comments on my last video oh the comments that you lot left me were just so beautiful and i just feel like i'm the luckiest person in the world like as if i've got just such nice people watching my channel so thank you so much if you sent me that channel any of those comments it absolutely made my day every single one of them right are we comfy are we subscribed have we got a beverington because this may take a while we may have to just get through this together so let's just get cracking so i've written down the makeup that i use and i've written it in alphabetical order so first on the list is blusher so i've got the revolution bronze no no i have not got that one i've got the revolution blush goddess palette um oh, i need a mirror i need a mirror mirror bear with need a mirror let's go for the deepest one which is this one and let's just let's just try and oh my god is it even gonna stick to my skin this <laughs> why why am i doing this why did i think this would be a good idea see now i just look like i've got a virus i just look like i've got a virus this is looking ridiculous already. I look like I've been slapped. Look like I've been slapped. I look like, right, I look like Aunt Sally from Where's All Gummy just been slapped. Next on the list is bronzer. <laughs> Let's not play about with, you know, anything too subtle because it's gonna need to come through the foundation. That's that's the logic I'm working with anyway. So I've got the Revolution Ultra Bronze, which is my favourite bronzer. Um, and I'm gonna I mean, like, delicately doing it, but I'm gonna need to, like, pile it on so that it comes through the foundation. <laughs> what is happening to my face? Oh my god, that looks horrific. <laughs> that looks absolutely horrific. <laughs> oh god, and I'm not, I think I know what's coming next. I think concealer's next. <laughs> Okay, next. Oh god, cream contour! I don't want to! <laughs> Why am I doing this? So for the cream slash liquid contour aspect of my makeup putting on situation, usually in the proper order, um, I use the Revolution Conceal and Define in shade 12.5 for my contour. Um, if you are new around here and you think that I am somehow the major shareholder in Revolution Beauty, that's not the case. I am just a fan. I am just massively obsessed with Revolution, so most products that I do use will be Revolution. Oh god, look at the next to Next on the list is, oh god, oh, 
concealer. I should have put concealer on before the cream contour, but they're the same stage, so that's fine. So, concealer, I'm also using the uh, Revolution Conceal and Define, and this is in shade 0 0.5. So yeah, this is, this is gonna look epic in a sec. Right then, so, I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel this is a great opportunity for a thumbnail, so just bear with a sec. Just gonna blend that at this stage with this contour brush. I'm just, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting very like early 2000s vibe where we all wore way too much fake tan. <laughs> this is just, <laughs> okay, so do you remember at the beginning when I was like, is this supposed to be funny? Like, is this supposed to, is it supposed to look ridiculous so that it entertains you? Or is it supposed to like go well so that we can say, look, we can just, we can make it work. Look how talented I am. Cause I can make this work. Like looking at this, I would say it's the first one. Cause also I'm not that talented, so. Okay. Woo, okay, Right, what's next? Oh no. Right, so next is crease colour. So what I did, instead of doing eyeshadow and just sticking that wherever the letter E would go, I kind of thought, just to make it a bit funnier as well, I would also break down the stages of applying eyeshadow and I wouldn't just cop out and do like a one colour eyeshadow situation. I would fully do like crease, lid colour, outer V, inner corner. So I've kind of separated those steps into alphabetical order in the whole process as well. So somehow... I've got to do an eye look backwards. Right, so crease colour, eyes. We need Kami's Kiss of Fire palette, which is one of my absolute favourites. And also Kami is one of my absolute favourite human beings. So, okay, so the gorgeous Kiss of Fire palette. What do we think for a lid colour? What do we reckon? I say let's not make it easy on ourselves because that's not the point, is it? You know what I mean? Like, actually, let's go for this one because I don't think I've used it on a, a lid colour before let's uh let, just let's okay so i'm going in with 23 we've got no eye primer we've got no um sealer on we've got no base down we've got nothing we've got a whole lot of mess going on on our face oh i actually really like this colour it's like a pinky copper on me that's well nice oh elixa elixa Okay, so I've done that and I've sort of left the very inner corner and the outer V free for when we get round to that situation. Right, so what's next? Um, oh, eyeliner. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put my eyeliner on between steps of eyeshadow. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. Let's just do that then. So I'm using the uh, super clot, super clot. So I'm using the super cat liner from Soap and Glory, and um, I mean I'm not going to do a big wing because that's just. Shall we? Do you want me to just do a dramatic one? Okay, that's one side sort of done. Okay, so that is as good as that's going to go. This is actually really fun. <laughs> right, what's next? What's next? <sighs> Fixing spray. Fixing spray, that's what's next. Right, which fixing spray have I got? Right, I'm using the Revolution Hyaluronic Fixing Spray and I suppose it, this bit doesn't matter as well. We're kind of, you know, like using fixing spray in between layers is kind of the done thing as well. So it, it's not it's not too much of a leap, but still. And all that lovely contouring will now set in place. Ready for the day. Okay, okay, right, foundation, so. Foundation is next without any primer yet. We're gonna now we're gonna then put primer on top of fixing spray and foundation. Okay. Right, so foundation, I've got the um my perfect colour velvet finish foundation from Primark, which I've got in the shade Ivory. Buffing brush, where are you? Buffing situation. So, oh, I'm gonna have to be careful with it past my eyeliner. It smells like sun cream. We'll have to see what it looks like when it's like dried down. But but blusher underneath actually isn't looking too bad. You know as well where sometimes you think, is primer just a gimmick now? Like we obviously did all right without primer in the past. So is primer just a gimmick? Like do we need primer? And I'm looking at my skin now and I'm looking at every single bit of texture that's showing up on my skin and saying, yes, yes, we do need primer. Okay, right. Okay, what's next? <laughs> what's next? 
I actually don't want to look. Um, where were we? Foundation, done that. Right, highlighter. There we go. I think everything's going to feel a bit better now because I've got the foundation on and I'm not thinking I'm just going to put foundation on top of everything. Carmi's palette has got two of the best highlighters in the business, which when you mix them together... Mm. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Spectrum uh, fan brush and I think I'm going to use, um, let's just use both of them. So we've got Flash May, which gives like a green kind of cast and then we've got Opulence or Opulence, you own everything. Only the best people will get that one. Um, Opulence highlighter, but yeah, if you mix them together, you just get the most beautiful colour. So let's do that one. And as I say, I do love highlighter, so let's just pack that right in there. Oh, it's beautiful! It's so, so beautiful! Okay, what's next? Um, highlighter. In a corner! Alright, we're back to the eyes. So, in a corner colour for the eyes. And I think I'm going to go with Flash Me the highlighter. Very, very excited now! Oh, it gets me every time I use this. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous! Oh my god, I love that colour so much. Okay, next on the list. I don't feel like the last couple have been that bad. Um, in a corner. Right, lip gloss. Which is coming before lip liner. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my god, it actually really goes with this colour that we've used from Carmi's palette. Lovelies, I really, really want to whiten my teeth. Can anybody recommend any really good, like, at home whitening kits that aren't really painful? Like, I really want to do it, but I think I'm in sensitive teeth. I'm, like, really scared of, like, it being really painful. Oh, I've got a hair. Oh, I've got a hair. Oh, I've got a hair. Oh, it's tickling. Oh, oh that was horrible. I had, like, a bristle from a brush tickling my nose. Okie dokie, let me know if I've got any on my teeth, won't you? Don't just leave me sat there with, like, makeup on my teeth. Come on, help me out. Right, next on the list, I think, was lip liner. Yeah, lip liner next. I've gone for a reddish one from NYX, which I think will be either Kitten Heels or Cherry Skies. Yep, yeah, Kitten Heels. Um, and to be fair, I mean, using a lip liner after you've put on your lip aid is absolutely fine. It's actually a really good way of, like, redefining that line. I mean, it looks like we're overdrawing the already injected and filled lips. So this will be hilarious. Bear with. Okay. Oh my god, that top lip looks huge now. I'm not gonna lie, I quite like it though. Do a lippy check. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, next. Outer V. So we've got the outer V of the eye, which I don't know how I'm gonna manage because I've already done my eyeliner. And I'm gonna use the black that's in Carmi's palette, which has got a bit of glitter in it as well, which is called Game On. I mean, if we're gonna, we're gonna do it, we might as well do it. If we're gonna do an outer V on a challenge type situation, let's just do it. Oh, yeah, that looks just really weird with like the wing sticking out of it. It just, oh my god, it just doesn't, like, I don't know where to put it! I need like Tabby and Carby to come and save me because, oh my god. Oh god, and it's like going under the eyeliner as well. Like, this is horrific! And I've got lippy on my teeth, and you didn't tell me. Right, powder contour next. So I'm gonna use the Revolution HD powder contour palette in Fair. Um, and I use a mix of these two. The old stamp and blend technique. Right, what's next? Powder contour primer. We're putting primer on, on top of everything. Okay, so I've gone and got the Revolution Hydration Primer. So let's just um, ruin everything, shall we? Okay. Do you know what? That's actually fine. That's actually fine. And I think because obviously I've patted it on instead of rubbing it in. My makeup stayed there. And it actually looks and feels fine. Pardon? I've got lippy on my teeth. Okay, one sec. Thank you. Thanks ever so much. Um, I'm sort of shocked. I thought at that stage that was going to like remove it all from my face. But it hasn't. It sort of feels really nice and soft. Okay, now the last step it should be about the second step, is the transition shade for the eyes. So, I need a fluffy brush, stat! So let's use, um, I feel like we should use this one. 
God, it doesn't look that bad! God, it's, I tell you what, it's horrible without any, like, primer on my own. Texture, you didn't know you had, madam? Of course, there you go. Okay, I mean, they're totally uneven, but, but there we go. In a pinch, we could, we could deal with this. Like, it doesn't look too, too bad. I suppose, to say we've put it on in the randomest order. That was the alphabetical makeup challenge on Layla Land. What do you think? I can't believe the primer on top didn't like separate it all and didn't, I don't know, didn't do anything. But I suppose it wouldn't do because if we're putting primer on and then foundation, like our primer and foundation don't know that they've gone on in a different order. They just know that they're next to each other, I suppose. Is that how it works? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, there's been some aspects of that that have blown my mind. There have been some aspects of that that have made me think, mm hmm that's why there's an order to these things. But also, I think the most important thing is that I've actually had loads of fun doing it. So I hope you've had lots of fun as well. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There will be lots more makeup challenges coming up. But yeah, in the meantime, make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you've given me a thumbs up. Make sure you've left me a comment. This week's subscriber shout out is to a lovely subscriber of mine with the name for Peter um, so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for commenting and for showing lots and lots of Layla Land love you are hugely appreciated and I'm sending you the biggest squishes make sure if you want a shout out in next in the next video go and leave me a purple heart in the comments and let me know that you would like a subscriber shout out um, but yeah in the meantime please remember I love you this much from here all the way around the world and back to here again and I will see you in my next video. Have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing. I love you lots. I'll see you next time. Bye! Buffing brush, where are you?